Hello and welcome to the Painters Estimating Program, PEPXP. Today we are going to put together an estimate. So we will click on our estimate screen. We will choose the client that we want to have an estimate for. And we will click on New Estimate. The estimate can, will be titled Interior. And the job description will be Kitchen. All right, as we, as we go back into the estimate, we see that it is a residential. Uh, we've clicked on residential, and our street and city and state and all is the, um, the exact address that we want it to be for our estimate, so we'll leave that. Now we'll go to the D part, detail part of the estimate. As we click on new area, the area is going to be the kitchen. So we type that in. Once we have these areas typed into our program, we can then drop a, our list and actually um, retrieve the area from our list. Once it's typed in, you never have to type it in again. Now, we're going to name the items that we're going to paint in this kitchen. So as I hit the letter C and I drop my list, I click on ceiling. I'm going to paint this ceiling by the square foot. The category that I'm going to use is going to be sheetrock painting. And these categories are where, this is where all my pricing is. And it's going to be smooth. The method is roll. So now I have um, the ceiling charged by the square foot. I'm doing two coats. And I'm now going to enter in my square footage. And this room is 22 by 11. And as I hit my tab key, I actually um, make those two numbers go into the program. They stay there. That's all I need for my measurements. Now, in this kitchen, I need a little bit of repair time. And the reason that I need repairs is that I need to uh, fix some nail pops. So there's in my quick notes here, I click on fix nail pops. And... I'm all done with this estimate except for material. So I drop my material screen and I choose my product. And let's say that I'm going to use an interior paint. So I choose my interior paint. I choose my color. And by dropping my list, I can easily do that. Number of coats, I said two. And the program will now figure out my material for me. So now as I look at what I've chosen here, my ceiling detail, here's my square footage, 242. My formula is 40, 54 cents a square foot. And this is for two coats. It's going to take three hours. I'm going to pay my help, 61.94. I'm going to charge my client 148.65. If I go into my material screen, I'll see that I'm going to use two gallons at 16 79, so my cost is 33.58. My cost of my labor is 74.32 plus my overhead, so this is my labor cost, and my material is added in. So every time I add an item, now if I add in walls, I would type in walls, or I could drop my list and find walls in my list. And then again, charge by. I have an option of charging by a fixed price, an hour, square foot, or by the item. Again, I choose to charge by the square foot. And my walls are, let's say that they're interior plaster walls. My surface is plaster smooth. Again, I'm going to roll. So this time I put in my measurement. Now, if my ceiling is, an, if I have an 8-foot ceiling, that's my default height. And two walls were 22, and two walls were 11. So there's my total square foot. Again, um, it's going to be two coats. This time I'm going to open up the material. And let's say I'm going to use um, this product. And the color will be, if it's not in, 
my list, I type it in. It'll be there for now on. Coats, two coats. And now my material is figured in. If I want to, I can have a little bit of setup time on this. I can add my setup time here. Again, if I have any repairs, they would be in my list here. If they weren't in, I would easily click on new phrase and, and write in a description um, that I would need, whether it's repair cracks uh, or repair damage plaster. So that's where I would keep all of my notes. So now I have walls and ceilings on this job. And let's say I was going to do baseboard. I would type that in. This time I would charge by the linear foot to do baseboard. And my baseboard is under interior wood moldings, baseboard trim, brush. Now I just put in my linear foot. So I add my two walls together. There's the linear foot of baseboard trim. If I wanted to add material, I could well, do, um, do a medium luster. The color, let's see, the well, color would be white. And again, because it's in my list, if I hit the W, there's white coats. We'll say one coat. Actually, you know, I'm going to say two coats because that's what I had thought before. And this time I'm going to actually override my material. Because it's a baseboard, it's very small. Um, I'm going to actually figure out the material myself on it. Okay, so now I have ceiling, walls, and baseboard. Here's my cost. If I look at the detail of any of these, I'll see exactly how I bid it, linear foot, my formula, what product, how much time I'm allowing on all of these. Now, if I want to add a picture to this, I go into my picture folder, and I click on a picture from my folder, and that picture is now added into my proposal. I look at my material. This is the material that I've allowed for this job. This is the cost that I've allowed for this job. It has my profit in here, which I have set ahead of time. It has my overhead in here, which I have set ahead of time. Tax on material is 6%, and my overall profit is set in here. So I can go back and add another area. And if I am doing more than one room, maybe I am painting a living room this time. And as I start to type it in, it's not in there. So I add it to my room. Add it to my list, and now it will always be in my list. Now, let's say in the living room that I'm only going to paint the walls. So I type in walls. I do them by the square foot. Or actually, let's say this time I'm going to do the walls by an hourly rate, and the method will be to roll. And so it's one item. I'm going to do two coats, and I'm going to allow four hours for the walls product. I'm going to actually choose a product from my list. I would choose a color, coats. Now because I haven't used the square footage, I'm actually going to have to choose the gallons myself because there's no formula here for the program to figure out my material. So I will choose my own material value. All right, now is, here's my cost for my walls. This is how many hours. This is what I'm going to pay my crew. This is what is going to be charged to the client. So now I have two different items. I can also put a picture in here of what the living room looks like so that when my client looks at this proposal, there are pictures to represent what I am doing. And I can choose as many areas or as many items as I would like to choose. And this is how we set up our estimate in the estimating program by choosing area and items. Thank you very much.